You're listening to the GRCC Provost Podcast. Greetings, persons of quality. This is Lori Chesley, and I want to welcome you to the brief inaugural session of the Provost Podcast at Grand Rapids Community College. I've likened being provost to a sports analogy, which I'm not very sporting, but I think this works. Basketball, five people on a court, right? The team has to work together, but there's usually, uh, I think it's called the point guard, who sort of runs the plays, provides leadership, sets up plays and strategies. I kind of like the idea of being the point guard of the team although it's always a team effort. Sometimes there are moments when the buzzer is about to go off and the game is tied and somebody has to take the shot or somebody has to make a decision. I'm okay with being the person who takes the shot or makes the decision. But don't ask me how well I played basketball in high school. So Provost Podcast. I thought it sounded high tech and cool. Um, I thought it would be something different and it did alliterate with Provost, so Provost Podcast. So I called uh, Mike Vargo, who I've worked with for a long time, and he's heard me ask many embarrassingly stupid questions. Uh, So I called him up and said, so what is a podcast? And he told me. It's really radio, radio on the internet, radio you can call up on your iPod, and I could be on iTunes and the college's YouTube channel, so it kind of appeals to me, and it really probably an unflattering way. Next week, I am going to record the first pilot podcast and see how it goes from there. I'll try a few of them. I'm being vague, a few. I don't know how many that is. See if people seem to be listening, uh, what the feedback is. Is it meeting the goals that I have? I think the goals are, there are a couple of things. To definitely keep the faculty and staff at the college informed of important issues that are being discussed in different leadership bodies, like the Academic Governing Council, Provost Dean's Group, the Dean's Council, other ad hoc teams. To also keep them informed about issues in higher ed, issues in state government, issues in all kinds of arenas that might impact our work here. It's also to, in a more friendly, personal way, uh, connect with people at a large, complex institution where I cannot, none of us can be everywhere, none of us can see everybody as often as we would like. During my interview process, many people said they want a provost who's approachable and I hope that I am, but I also know that I spend a lot of time in meetings and I spend a lot of time, you know, working at my desk and all those things are important and this would be one way to spend some time in what I hope feels like a personal way with individuals, but I also do intend to to get out because I I need to get out of the office now and again and breathe fresh air. People who are familiar with my school meetings when I was the Dean of Arts and Sciences know that Uh, My husband, who is a full-time faculty member at Aquinas College, does figure into my shtick, so to speak. Definitely influences how I think as an administrator. His most important role is to keep me from talking too long. Um, So I like to tell stories about him, and, and I also like to tell stories about my cat, Dexter, who is very naughty. And if you were wondering, he is named after the television character the serial murderer of serial murderers, Dexter Morgan. But actually, I'm hoping to ask not only faculty who are involved in innovative projects, uh, either scholarly, creative, or pedagogical, but I'd also like to ask other leaders from the campus to come in and talk about what they do in their areas, because I think in such a big organization, we sometimes wonder what other people do. And so I'd like uh, faculty and staff to know about things like, what kind of efforts do we make to recruit new students? Because they're really incredibly comprehensive and fun and interesting, at least I think so. And so I'd like to share some of that as well. I've been here 10 years. It is, without question, the best 10 years of my career. I have never been anywhere else 10 years. This is longevity. And I always said to my faculty and staff at the Arts and Sciences meeting this, and I'm and now I'm going to say it to everybody, uh, 
You always need to know that I am very proud of the work that you do here at the college. You are the highly esteemed, much appreciated faculty and staff of a very happy provost. Cool. Great job. Boom. <laughs> You've been listening to the GRCC Provost Podcast, produced by GRCC Media Technologies. Join us next episode for more Provost.